Hi everyone, this is Ethan Dre with Be Creative Studios Video Tutorials. And today what we're going to be reviewing is just your basic Photoshop transformations. So these transformations include scaling, rotating, skewing, distorting, perspective, and warping. Okay, so as you can see we have our final product here. It's just a document kind of inspired by Salvador Dali. And we're just working with two different documents today. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the document that has our clock face in it. And I'm just going to select all or command A. And we're going to go to edit copy or command C. And I'm going to switch over to my environment. So once we get over here, all we have to do is paste it. And we can go to edit paste or hit command V. And we're going to paste this four separate times. All right. So we're going to rename these layers for each transformation that we're going to be completing today. So we have skew, we have distort, we have perspective, and we have warp. All right. Now, these layers are obviously too big for the document we're working in right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to scale them all down at once. So if I have warp selected, all I have to do is hold in shift and click on skew. So that's going to select warp and skew and all the layers in between. The next thing I want to do is free transform or scale this down. So I can go to edit transform scale or I can just hit command T. Now remember we can smash these vertically or horizontally but we want to maintain this aspect ratio of pixels. So what I'm going to do is hold in shift and click on the corner point and just drag in. Okay, so that looks like a pretty decent size, maybe a little bit smaller. All right, and notice if I hover outside of our transformation box that I get a curved arrow. That means we can click and hold and rotate these objects as well. So anytime you make a transformation, we either have to accept or deny our changes. So we're just going to click on the check mark to accept them. And we just want to hide all of these layers except for skew. So we're just working with one clock face right now. So whenever we skew a layer, essentially what that does is it allows you to slant an item vertically or horizontally. So to get to our transformations, once again, we're going to go to edit transform and I'm going to click on skew. Okay, as you can see, when we click and drag on these points, we can drag them horizontally and we can drag them vertically. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it look like this clock face is just laying flat on the ground by dragging these bottom points out and we're going to drag these top points down. All right, so that's going to be about good and we'll just accept those changes there. Now we are going to have to scale it down a little bit more. So command T, remember hold in shift and click on the corner to drag in. So we can accept that change. All right, so we have our skewed clock face. The next one we're gonna be working with is distort. So with distort, you're able to stretch an item in all directions. You're not limited to just vertical or horizontal. Uh, you're able to pull these points in all directions. So what we're gonna do is just place this clock right into the crevice of this tree. So we're just gonna go to edit, transform, and distort. And we're going to zoom in on our document by hitting command plus or you can always use the magnifying tool or the navigator so once we go to distort notice that i can drag these points in diagonally i can also drag the center points of our transformation box and we're just going to kind of flatten this out and make it look like it's on the inside of this tree here all right so we'll leave it about that we're going to accept our changes. Now we are going to go in later and add some layer styles and effects to give this a little more depth and make it look a little bit more realistic. All right, next we have perspective. Um, as I mentioned before, perspective is going to allow us to add a one point perspective to our layer. So what we're going to do here is just go to edit, transform, perspective. Okay, and we're just going to bring this up because we're going to make it look like it's leaning against this part of the tree. All right, so notice when I click on one corner point, 
All right, it changes the location of both corner points to that side. All right, so we're gonna bring that down a little bit. All righty, we're gonna accept those changes and I'm gonna scale that down and rotate it a little bit. And we're actually gonna scale that sideways as well. Okay, so last but not least, we have warp. Now, as I mentioned before, warp allows you to manipulate the entire shape of a layer. So our goal is to kind of make it look like this shape is melting over top of this tree branch. Now we're gonna to go to Edit Transform in Warp, or you can always hit Command T, and the icon next to our Deny or Accept Changes for our transformation, that is going to allow us to warp the image as well. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this, and you can drag these faces to change the shape, all right, and you also have these curves that you can manipulate. That's gonna change the overall angle of the outside of the shape and like the other transformations you can still click on these corner points and move those as well so we're just gonna bring that center face up a little bit all right we're gonna leave her at that we're going to accept those changes and I'm actually going to move that up to make it look like it's drooped over top of the branch a little bit more. Now the next thing that we're going to do is add depth and make it look a little bit more realistic. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our warp layer selected and I'm going to go to the bottom of my layer window where we have effects. And we're going to add what's called a drop shadow. Okay. So as you can see that drop shadow is definitely helping the depth of the image already. Uh, we have our angle set to 90, which is what we want because it's straight down. Distance is 5, which is good. Distance is how far that drop shadow is from your layer, if you notice. Okay, our spread is how dark the drop shadow goes out, outside of that layer. And our size is more or less the blend, or the distance the drop shadow blends away from the layer. Okay, so we're going to take that spread up to about 2. All right, so that's looking a lot better. We're just gonna go ahead and hit OK. And instead of doing that three more times, we can just right click our layer and copy that layer style. Okay, so we can just paste that layer style to all of our layers. And you can go ahead and hide those drop shadows, make sure that they look okay. And from here, you can go on and use adjustment layers to add to the overall document and try to blend everything a little bit better concerning saturation contrast lighting and all that stuff all right so today what we went over were our basic transformations in Photoshop uh, which included scale or changing the size of a layer rotating which allows you to rotate the layer around a point skewing which allows you to slant an item vertically or horizontally distorting which allows you to stretch an item in all directions and perspective which applies a one-point perspective to the layer and we also went over warp, which allows you to manipulate the entire shape of a layer. I hope you all enjoyed today's video tutorial. This is Ethan Dre with Be Creative Studios. Check back for our latest tutorial and thank you for watching.